Israel. The first letter here is the Yod, okay, like that. When it's prefixed to a verb, it means he. We talked about that earlier, he. The last word is the word, what's that word there? El. El, the mighty one, the powerful one. Translated as God. So what do we have left here in the middle? This is the fun word. Sar. Sar is a Hebrew word that's usually translated as prince. Sar shalom. Translated as prince of peace or ruler. It literally, the, the, the first picture is a picture of a thorn. It has the meaning of to turn. If I'm traveling and I come across a thorn path or a thorn bushes, I literally have to turn and go another direction. So this word, the letter sin, means to turn. Then you have the picture of a head of a man. To turn the head of a man. It's re- related to a word, another word, yasar, that means d- d- discipline. Discipline, to turn the head of a man, to make him change directions. My children can come up to me, my, <laughs> my little one, my Jedediah, he, he's learned that the like this, you know, that, 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 that sometimes will make me change and do what he wants. He gets that little pouty look there, you know, and it just kind of gets you. So what he's done, he's turned my head. I was going this way and saying, no, you're not going to do it. He gives me that little face, and I've turned and gone another direction. He's able to turn my head to his way. Exactly. So what we have here, Yisrael, is literally he turns the head of God. Yisrael, Israel, he is the one. He's like the child. Israel, Jacob, is like the child who turns the head of God. Maybe we understand Israel a little bit better. 